Hi, uh, my name is Moni Sharma. I'm from Desta Global. Desta Global is the parent company and Desta Talk is one of our endeavors. Uh, we are an online website. Uh, uh, so let me talk about Desta Global first. Desta Global is a company which is tasked to improve the livelihoods of farmers. Uh, right now we're working in Maharashtra, but we plan to expand it around the country. Uh, the big thing for us is that we figured out that providing value and earning money are actually one and the same thing. They don't go in opposite directions. So Desta Global is a social enterprise for profit farmer centric. centric. Our primary target, our primary mechan mechanism is a website. Uh, it's, a, it's a Marathi website. Right now we have like 150 unique visitors a day. Uh, we do some original content, but a lot of our content is curated from other sites. Now, this question always comes up. Do you think farmers actually go to a website? And uh, we never thought we'll be starting a website. We had gone to a farmer fest, uh, fair, and we put on flyers saying, if we have a website, how many people do we have? And we got 1,200 sign-ups in three days. And it was 1,200 because our staff could not write fast enough. So we figured there's a demand. and. We're, what we're finding is there is a demand. Now, we have 100, only 150 unique visitors. That's because a lot of our content is consumed by other retailers. Uh, that's uh, where content distribution comes in. Facebook is a, a great source for us for content distribution. WhatsApp is probably the biggest content distribution source. We cannot quantify it because the articles just keep on going around. What we find is that we post it in one group and we find out the same article in another. That's there. We do SMSs. We send SMSs to farmers. We have a, we're using a telephony uh, platform. This is out of Ahmedabad. Again, a startup over there. But what they do is instead of uh, sending an SMS, it's a voice call. And when the person picks up, it plays a 30 second uh, audio. So, so uh, we're using that. And we recently started Twitter. And I don't know how well it will go. But before, before with the, uh, so one thing I'd like to say is that we are a very experimental organization. We can try to do things, figure out how things are happening. When we started doing social media, we really weren't sure what the impact would be. So we went ahead and started a competition, an online contest, a photograph contest called uh, Desta Krushi Parivar. People would submit their applica uh, photographs online. The prize money was 50,000. So we kept it at 50,000 because it's such a large amount that people will make an effort to go to it. Uh, this was last year. We got 177,000 votes. Uh, the voting was by public, so we didn't select the, the photograph that one. So we got 177,000 votes. The winning photo was 3,300 3, uh, 4, votes. So that's quite a bit. Yeah. Running out of time? Yeah. We also do exhibitions. Uh, we did a lot of exhibitions. We are. Uh, we started doing uh, something called Desta Mela. It's uh, where we do a very focused kind of thing for farmers. Uh, and uh, I'll mean, cut it short. Uh, so the whole goal is that what we want to do is provide information that's actually not being provided to farmers. So we want to go into separate out. That was Desta 1. Desta, this year what we're doing is we're launching Desta Talk 2.0. We're going to list all agriculture products so farmers can search for it, question and answers. Uh, we're going to list all plant diseases and farm uh, trade farmer groups. Thank you. Any questions from the panel? So, I just want to ask yeah. what you're doing right now. You're offering a online portal. How are you doing the impact assessment? How do you know that people or your farmers are getting benefited? Have you done any kind of No, not yet. We haven't done any impact assessment. That's a question. So, how many have you been able to see how many farmers are visiting, <coughs> been able to interact online? Is there any <coughs> level of engagement you have been able to? So, so, the level of engagement is more on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is Yeah, so we get questions. We've created four groups. We're not sure how many groups to create because sure. it takes manpower and being a startup, I mean, it's always limited. So, how so many farmers are there part of those groups? Uh, so, we got four groups. So, that would be like a thousand farmers. The limit is 250. 250. Yeah. yeah. How old is this portal? Uh, it's a year old, last year in March. Okay, yeah. you launched it last year in March? Yeah, okay. yeah. just to clarify, so this is the second task. Primarily, we are a company which is uh, doing e-commerce in agriculture. So this is the second task. Yes. Any questions from the participants? I have, uh, I have one question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, 
are you going to use like you may have mentioned like product listing and everything so are you going to use it on online portal or it will be on interactive uh, voice thing? Oh, everything online everything online yeah, yeah. But you mentioned something about that, like interactive voice thing, like when so someone so calls. That, uh, that was a way of sending mechanism, uh, sending messages. So in case there is something we want to tell to the farmers, we load the voice message mm -hmm. and the automated dialer calls and gets the message. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you.